This month, let's look at the potential for using Diane Pry as a method of failure analysis on BGA packages. Unfortunately, if area array packages fail, it's sometimes difficult to diagnose the root cause of failure. Although destructive, die and pry is a simple and cost-effective way of assessing the root cause. To do this, take your printed circuit board, determine approximately where the problem is on the BGA. Is it on the right, left, top or bottom of the package? Introduce die underneath the package, slowly, making sure that it fills all the void and there are no air bubbles trapped underneath the package. Leave it underneath the package for two or three hours. This allows the die to penetrate into any potential cracks in the BGA or the substrate pads, or even possibly on the pads on the package. After a couple of hours, and possibly you could also introduce the unit into a vacuum chamber to pull a vacuum and eliminate any air which is stopping the material penetrate into any cracks. However, generally speaking, I've not found the necessity to do this in most occasions. After a couple of hours, wash out the die underneath the package. The die will still remain underneath any pads that have lifted or any joints that have cracked. So you'll still be able to see where the failure has occurred. After washing the board, dry the board to make sure the residues are held in place. Next, use a wood chisel to lever the package off of the surface of the board. Now, this is destructive, but the die will show where cracks have occurred. So you'll be able to see the interface where it has failed. There are no special criteria However, it's important to look at the area of failure and see how much dye has penetrated. For further information on this particular test, you can visit our website or join us on one of our online webinars.